A frequent Fox 11 contributor, Home Now, was in Gaza and took the picture you see behind us of a rocket. Yeah, it's unreal. Our medical expert, Dr. Alan Kurchaski, returned from a trip to Israel on Sunday. Now, he wrote out several airstrikes in a bomb shelter right on the border of Israel and Gaza. Dr. Al sat down with Fox 11's Alex Ranallo to share his story. The video is grainy, but the sound is clear. In it, you can hear an airstrike warning siren in Tel Aviv, 40 miles away from the Gaza Strip. We were in our hotel and a missile came over from Gaza. Dr. Alan Cherkasky says the Israeli defense shot that rocket down, but that airstrike was one of many he experienced on his trip. And I wasn't afraid, but I was startled, like, oh my God, this is the real deal. Cherkasky spent much of the trip visiting a family friend in southern Israel, about a mile from the border with Gaza. You can see Gaza Strip in these pictures. He says the bulk of Hamas rockets were shot into this area. Can you imagine living in America and having living in Green Bay and having the people in De Pere shoot rockets at you. Cherkasky went out with an Israeli security patrol. He saw a rocket in a field, saw damage to a local petting zoo in the same area as a kindergarten, and he saw many empty farm fields. The farmers can't be out in the fields because of gunfire. Cherkasky says life along the border is not easy. They live under this constant threat, not knowing if a rocket's coming in, when it's coming in, where it's coming, and um, it really paralyzes the population. A lot of time is spent in bomb shelters, like this one Jerkaski slept in. But he says many people go on with life, despite the fear. In the markets, in shopping, stores, uh, just leading their lives. Now that there is a ceasefire agreement, Cherkasky is skeptical Hamas will let it last, but he's praying for peace. I hope so. I hope so, because nobody, nobody wants war. Everybody wants to, to live peacefully. In Kakana, Alex Ronaldo, Fox 11 News. Dr. Al flew out of Tel Aviv last Sunday, and he says he had no trouble getting out despite the violence.